Hey guys, it's Ryan with Fluid Health bringing you another episode of Science Power Fitness and today we're going to talk about joint mobilizations. Uh, what's a joint mob? Well, first off, uh, let's just step back a second and talk about mobility. Uh, there's several reasons why you may have a reduced range of motion in a joint. Uh, a lot of times we assume it's muscular, so the first thought process here is that we're going to use something to elongate that tissue and that could be reactive stretch resistance that's limiting the mobility so it could be the nervous system keeping the muscle tight or it could be a structural thing a mechanical thing where you're not able to lengthen through the tissue because there's actually no material to stretch or there's fascia but then there's this other thing and it's uh, again has to do with the joint blocking or an osseous block so it means that the orientation of the surfaces of the joint aren't lined up appropriately it has to do with the way that the joints move, and that's referred to as orthokinematics. So the idea here is that if the joint is either too wedged together, that's called traction, or if it's too de decompressed or pulled away, that's called, again, traction or distraction. So again, traction is in, distraction is out. And if I'm in a stuck, distracted state, it basically means we need to get the surface areas touching again. So a lot of times what we have to do is just acknowledge or, or or determine whether or not the resting joint position is in its neutral relationship. So it means that the joints have a natural resting position or posture, it's called the centration of the joint, and then the surfaces are associated appropriately. It means that the glide and roll mechanics are sound, but sometimes they distort because the muscles are too tight, the fascia is too tight, pulls your joints out of alignment, and then it means that the joint won't move well so when you move the, the bone inside the joint, it actually is obstructed because it's stuck in either a traction state or a distracted state. So it's basically in the fixed position of the joint orientation where the muscles have become imbalanced. And a lot of times it's associated with a global pattern, a regional, or a local. So again, um, many reasons for it, for the mechanism, but ultimately what we can do is we can help to negotiate those joint surfaces so that they line up better. And that's gonna help with synovial fluid, with the protection mechanism that comes from the scouring. So a lot of times the body's sensory receptors will feel that additional pressure as like a uh, hypersensitization and sort of lock muscles up around it or turn things off. And even up above it and below it and other joints above and below, it'll actually turn things off or turn things on to protect it. And this can ripple through the body and create imbalances. So it's really important to know that there's more to it than just muscle length or fascia. It could be a structural thing that provides a neural blocking and again, if we understand the mechanics of the joint structures, by understanding physiology and the appropriate position of these joints called joint centration, maintenance of the proper uh, joint location to optimize movement quality, um, then we get more out of our body and we get the cooperation of our muscles. So pretty cool. Again, questions on any of this stuff, let us know. Reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Again, we can show you self-mobilization techniques, um, show you how to do it um, appropriately and get those joints lined back up. Um, but again, think big picture globally, not locally, and, uh, and look for the appropriate answers by digging hard. So remember, your body's designed to move, stay in motion. I'll see you next time.